हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस सो फार वी कवर टू इवेंट्स वन इज इनिशियलाइजेशन एंड अनदर इज एट सेलेक्शन स्क्रीन नाउ वी नो वेरी वेरी वेल एवरी इवेंट रिक्वायर टू थिंग्स व्हेन एवर ए इवेंट हैज टू ट्रिगर it always require two things either it require a action or it will trigger automatically when a situation or time has been reached always event triggers by a action or it will trigger automatically when that particular situation has been reached same thing is applicable to classical report events few events require action from our end few events will trigger automatically when that particular situation or time has been reached suppose in the last video we covered at selection screen event at selection screen event where at at selection screen event requires a action from our end if we want at selection screen event to trigger we need to perform a action now we will move on to our next event our next event is start of selection now start of selection this event calls when user clicks execute button on the selection screen when we click on to the execute button on the selection screen at that time which event is calling start of selection suppose simple i will run this program this is the program which we developed i am running the program whenever i will click on to this execute button which event will call start of selection now maximum time people will ask the question now up to this level when in the last video when we click on to this execute button at that time at selection screen event also triggered suppose simple simple if someone ask you what is the difference between at selection screen event and start of selection at selection screen event triggers on every action on the selection screen suppose i pressed enter i pressed enter at that time which event calls at selection screen at that time start of selection did not call start of selection specifically call calls only only on which button execute button this is the most most important difference from the interview perspective at selection screen event triggers on every action on the selection screen every action means it can be enter it can be click on to the button but start of selection dedicately execute or dedicately trigger on to which were dedicately trigger on to which action whenever you will click on to the execute button on the selection screen now we will go into dig down suppose i gave some input whenever i will press enter at selection screen event will trigger it will validate the input suppose i forgot to press enter or i am not pressing enter i will click on to this execute button again firstly at selection screen event will validate your input and that is a real project firstly whatever the input we are giving it should be correct so at selection screen event will validate the input and after that which particular event will call if input is correct after that which event will trigger start of selection now what is the purpose of start of selection word itself is saying 
it's a start of the selection process it means we will write the queries as a part of which particular event start of selection it is clearly clearly mentioned your selection logic should be the part of this event and it is all about real project firstly you are giving the input and add selection screen event will validate your input first yes if the input is correct yes definitely we should go for now our fetching logic part we will fetch and we will display the data so if someone ask you yes what is the purpose of start of selection event simple your selection logic whatever the logic you are writing it should be the part of start of selection and it always always trigger on to which button whenever we click on to the execute button on the selection screen now we will write the logic for start of selection suppose i am writing start of selection now we will write a query now we will write the query to fetch data from which table order header table so what i will do i will open the order header table i will display this table suppose from order header table we will display order number order date payment mode and currency we will display these four columns if i want to display these four columns yes it means i need to create a structure type of four column i require a internal table of four column so firstly i will create a structure type of four column so i will write types you all know whenever you want to create a structure the keyword is types begin of ly underscore data. I will write first column order number type data element of order number order date type data element of order date. Now I will go for payment mode. Type. data element of payment mode now i will go for currency i data element of currency i will end this structure i i will declare internal table and work areas whenever you are using structure type the keyword should be type table of if you are using structure type to declare the internal table now i will declare work area work area is never a table so work area type structure type i'll check the syntax and so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the next event start of selection this event triggers when you click on to the execute button on the selection screen the difference between add selection screen and start of selection is add selection screen event triggers on every action on the selection screen but start of selection always always triggers whenever we click on to the execute button on the selection screen and what is the benefit of this event our selection logic what the purpose of the event our selection logic our logic should always always be the part of this particular event and based upon our requirement we declared one structure type internal table and work
in the next video we will write the logic as a part of start of selection so that's it in this video thank you